Hi everyone, welcome to Modern Literature. This video is designed to help you gain an understanding of the course and what to expect this semester, as well as learn how to best navigate our course in Canvas. This video will give you the nitty gritty of course structure and content, but more detailed information about these things can be found in the course syllabus. And I'll show you how to find that in a few minutes. Over the course of the semester, you'll read five novels, which will serve as the anchors for each unit. You will also encounter supplemental readings and media to enhance your experience in each unit. In the order that we'll read them, the course texts are The Family Fang by Kevin Wilson, Mr. Penumber's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, A Good and Happy Child by Justin Evans, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, and Bad Monkeys by Matt Ruff. The first thing most students need to get used to in Modern Lit is the pace of the class. Unless you've taken World Lit, this fast-paced style could be new to you. Modern Lit readers encounter an average of 30 pages per night during the reading window. Typically, it takes us about school, two school weeks to read each book. And during that time, you'll also be working on a mini project, which you'll present either during or after the reading window. And the week after um, you read, you'll participate in Socratic Seminar and take a unit test. This predictable structure allows students to focus on reading the books themselves and on important assessments like the mini projects, Socratic Seminars, and unit tests. The English department is operating on a weighted grade system as of last school year, and in Modern Lit, this will be divided into formative assessments worth 40% and summative assessments worth 60%. Formative assessments include your mini projects and weekly discussions in Canvas, and summative assessments include Socratic seminars and unit tests. The final exam package is worth 15% and includes a synthesis project, lit terms final test, and final reflection. All materials and activities for this semester, except for the books themselves, will be located in Canvas. So let's take a look at how you're going to be using Canvas for this class. When you open our Canvas course, you'll always see the modules um, for the class. And modules will be unlocked as we need them. And once they're unlocked, they will remain accessible to you for the whole semester. Currently, you're only able to access the general information module, but um, the module for our first book, The Family Fang by Kevin Wilson, should have unlocked this morning at 7.30. Um, you have a few navigation options over here on the side. Um, you have Home, Syllabus, Discussions, and Grades, and I'll open up other navigation options to you as needed. When you click Home, you will always be taken back to this page with our modules, and um, you can access our course syllabus at any time throughout the semester by clicking on the Syllabus tab. Um, this is a good reminder, if you have not authorized Google in your Canvas um, in your Canvas account, you'll need to do that as soon as possible um, because mostly everything I do is a Google item, like a Google presentation or a Google Doc. So you need to make sure that Canvas and Google are working together in your account. Um, in the Discussions tab, you'll see all of your weekly discussions and any other discussion that you need to complete during the class. Um, something that you need to work on during the week will be pinned at the top of the page. At the end of each week, you'll be asked to reflect on that week's content and activities and engage in digital conversation with your classmates. These discussions can be found here as well. An important thing to note about discussions for this class is that when the due date and time hit, the discussions will no longer be available to you to submit posts for credit. So it's really important that you get into the habit of posting and responding to your classmates weekly. Your last navigation option is grades, and you'll be able to see your grades on individual items completed in Canvas, like seminar prep documents, unit tests, discussions, um, but your most accurate total grade should always, always be found in Skyward. So I'm going to go ahead and exit student view now so that you can see all of the items that I need you to see. Um, so let's take a look at the general information module. Under resources, you'll see the course orientation video, which you're currently watching. Remember, I also recommend reading the course syllabus, which you can um, find over here in the navigation. Next, you'll see some resources that you'll need throughout the semester. So the daily slides contain everything you'll see on the screen during class. 
the daily agenda and homework document is a rolling agenda, which basically just means that the most current date will be toward the top of the page um, so that you don't have to keep scrolling and scrolling to find what you need. Um, the current date will always be highlighted for you so you'll know what to look for and then sometimes you'll see that I like to work ahead and give you a glimpse into what the rest of the week looks like. Um, so if you are absent, it's really, really important that you come to this document first to figure out what you missed. Um, this semester I also pl plan to make use of the Canvas calendar for more of an at-a-glance view of our schedule and so that you can see um, specific due dates and, and things like that. So um, you can always rely on either one of these pieces to understand what's going on in the course. So next in the module, you'll see all of your items for the literary and critical terms. Um, as outlined in the syllabus, you'll need to learn 100 lit terms for this class. Um, you have immediate access to the list of terms and their definitions, as well as a comprehensive study quizlet. All the terms and definitions are in there already. All you need to do is use it. Um, as a side note, the app for Quizlet is really awesome and handy, so I'm sure you're well aware of that, but if you're not, go ahead and take a look at that when you have time. So virtually all of the work that you'll do in this class will happen in Canvas, and this will include discussions, mini projects, Socratic seminar preparation, and tests, so it's really important that you become comfortable using this tool. If at any point you um, have questions, feel free to send me an email, or you can always just pop in and see me. So I hope this has given you some insight about modern lit, and I look forward to learning with you guys this semester.